Today we're going to talk about transformer selection and what information you need in order to pick three single phase transformers for banking or paralleling transformers together. So you first you need a work order or construction print that shows you the circuit voltage on the system and then it also shows you the, shows you the service voltage needed and then what size transformer is needed. So up in the left hand corner let's just we're going to kind of write a, a work order out here and we're going to say that the the circuit voltage is 7200 12470. And then we're going to say that our service voltage is 12240 that the customer needs. And they're requiring three 25 kVA transformers. So this would be on our work order and these are parts of the equation that we need. So compare this with our transformer nameplate and on the high voltage rating of the transformer we've got a match because we've got 7200 volts which matches the phase to ground connection on our circuit voltage. Then if we look at the, the service voltage we've got 12240 on our transformer nameplate which matches the service voltage required by the customer on the work order. And then the last part there is the size of the transformers. And right over here, what I'm circling right now, we've got 25 kVA is the size of our transformers, which matches on the work order, the 325 kVA transformers. So there's the first three things we need. The, the circuit voltage matches on the, on the uh, transformer voltage rating. Then the service voltage is a match, and the size of the transformers is a match. So when we're banking transformers together, there's two other things that we need to look at. And the first one I'm going to circle and we're going to talk about is the impedance. So when you think of impedance, think of resistance. And you want to try and get three transformers that have the impedance as close to each other as possible. So we've got 1.9% as our impedance. Um, so if we move over here and we look at our transformers on the bank here. Let's say that we got 1.9 percent on this first one. And the second one, we got one we've got 1.9 percent. But let's say on this last one, we've only got 1 percent. The reason why this is important to try and get three transformers that the impedance is very close together is this one transformer over here that's at 1 percent is going to take on more of the load. Because remember when I said when you think of impedance, think of resistance. Well, if it's got less resistance, then it's going to pack more of the load. It's going to take on more of that load, which could overload that transformer and make it fail. So you want to try and find three transformers that have impedance that are very close together. You have, some companies will give it a plus or minus 5% range, but check with your company just to find out what they require. Okay, so the last part of the equation is the polarity, and I'm going to circle it. It's really, it's right here in the middle. And you want to try and find three transformers that have the same polarity. In this particular case, our transformers are have, they show additive polarity. Uh, a good way to indicate that it's additive polarity, uh, besides the transformer nameplate, is if we look at our transformers that are banked, if the X1 bushing is on the right-hand side, then their additive polarity. If the X1 bushings are on the left hand side, then their subtractive polarity, like this one on the far right. So the reason why this is important is if you've got, let's say, two transformers that are additive and one transformer that subtractive polarity, electrically you can connect it and make it work but it's going to be a different type of connection than the traditional connection. And this can be a hazard, especially in the middle of the night. Uh, if you come up on a connection, you're like, what is this? I've never seen this before. It could actually be a safety concern. So although electrically it will work, you want to try and find three transformers that have the same polarity, just to make it so the connections are traditional and look the same. Okay, so that's the criteria for uh, choosing the right transformers, single phase transformers when banking or paralleling transformers. You need to know the, uh, the circuit voltage, the service voltage, 
the size transformers you need and then try and get the polarity to match and try and get the impedance as close as possible for all three.